The following is an address by Finance Minister the Honorable Nazim Burke in observance of the inaugural annual Public Service Week of Activities. Greetings to everyone. Once again, I'm extremely delighted to join with all public officers of Grenada in celebrating Public Service Week. This annual celebration is much anticipated by many as it seeks to build international awareness and highlight the role and work of public officers all over the world. Additionally, this occasion is used to improve relations with members of the public and their perception of the public service, recognize and improve the moral of public officers, and inspire and attract a new generation of public officers. For us in government, we view this focus of the, on the public service as another important event in our process of improved governance in Grenada. The public service is one of the most important institutions of government within our democracy, as it is primarily responsible for the management and implementation of government's policies. Very importantly, it also serves as a constant interface with members of the public. In many respects, the quality of and the level of professionalism and output of the public service singularly defines the quality of governance in democratic societies. So there is a direct link between the public service and the quality of life experienced by all citizens. That is why our government is committed to ensuring that our public service is given the necessary support, leadership, training and incentives to achieve high professional standards. A professional public service will enhance the quality of life of all our citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, this year, we join with public, service, public services around the world to celebrate under the theme Transformative Leadership in Public Administration and Innovation and Governance, Creating a Better Life for All. This theme, highlighting the concept of transformative leadership in the public service, is quite timely. It speaks to the need for change in the public service, characterized by higher levels of awareness, sensitivity, motivation, and morality. This change should be driven by enlightened and transformative leadership. Transformative leadership, ladies and gentlemen, is about a leadership style that demonstrates integrity and fairness and one that inspires and resonates with others. It is about leadership that generates trust and commitment. A leadership that is open to ideas and constant learning. A leadership that is connected to the Grenadian people and is grounded in reality. A leadership that demonstrates genuine concern and respect for others and brings out the best in individuals and teams. The practice of transformative leadership is consistent with the pursuance of a new governance paradigm that our government has articulated. This is the reason why our government over the past three years has been pursuing and implementing a new vision and mission for the public service. You may recall that in May of last year, we launch a new vision for the public service. A public service that fully understands and demonstrates that it exists solely to serve Grenada, its citizens and residents, helping them to achieve their goals and does so with integrity, professional competence, responsiveness, openness and transparency, and that it is fully accountable for its actions and performance. We also commenced a review and updating of qualification requirements for the public service, a review of Public Service Commission regulations and staff orders to be implemented later this year, the development of a ministerial code for ministers, the development of a governance code for the senior management board, the reintroduction of the corporate planning process for ministries and departments, and we are preparing for the establishment of a performance management system for senior managers and the reintroduction of performance appraisals for the entire public service. All these activities and actions, ladies and gentlemen, are designed to modernize the public service, to increase the levels of efficiency, to improve overall governance, and ultimately to enhance the quality of life for all Grenadians. However, in order to do so, all these processes and initiatives have to be led effectively. Hence the role of the senior management board and senior members of the public service, leading by example, is extremely important. So too, 
is the role of every member of the public service. That's the reason why we are all part of the governance structure of our country. That's the reason why we work diligently every day at our various tasks. So, I urge all public officers to continue to rededicate and recommit themselves to the noble cause of public service as we endeavor to build our country. I wish at this point to thank all public officers for their contributions in supporting the work of this great institution and to offer my sincerest appreciation to all. Ladies and gentlemen, Public Service Week is also about celebrating our achievements. It is a time when we seek to fr fraternize, to share and to network with each other and the public. So I urge you to enjoy your week of celebrations. It is also a time when we need to reflect and to plan the next steps in our continuing process of modernization. As we look forward to building this central institution together, I pledge our government's continuing support. I urge you to be always guided by our vision of service, service to all our citizens and residents as we collectively work to build a better Grenada and a better life for all. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure in declaring the inaugural annual Public Service Week of Activities open. I thank you. The preceding was an address by Finance Minister the Honorable Nazim Burke in observance of the inaugural annual Public Service Week of Activities. Mm -hmm.